Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I really have something neat for you today. This is the H or JJRC H26D model. What this is is you can see is it's a large quadcopter, a large brush motor quadcopter, but it includes something very different than other quadcopters that I've reviewed in the past. Um, you know, in the past, there hasn't been much improvement in cameras. Uh, particularly, you know, in aerial video uh, quadcopters, more or less, it's been the same 720p pinhole camera over and over and over again. Not anymore. Hopefully, this will be uh, uh, an impetus for uh, people out there or the designers out there to start putting better cameras on these quadcopters. The only exception I've seen in the past two years has been the CMAX 8G that came out with a 1080p camera. But everything else has been more or less the same. The same old 720p pinhole camera <laughs> put on all these quadcopters. This one's different. This is a 3 megapixel, but if you look on it, it actually has a lens. Okay, All other uh, quadcopters to date did not have a lens. A real glass lens. Well, it's probably plastic. <laughs> but still, a lens to gather light. Uh, to provide more light in there. You know, looking in there, it, it probably is still a pinhole camera inside there. <laughs> but uh, we have a, uh, it's actually a wide angle lens to provide better view and also hopefully to gather more light for the image sensor that's in there. Another big advance on this quadcopter is it has a gimbal. Now it's not a gyro stabilized gimbal, but it is a powered gimbal that provides up and down tilt and uh, left and right uh, tilt, or left and right uh, swivel. Now the left and right swivel, I'm not that big a fan of, but the ability to do the up and down tilting on this, that is a huge improvement, you know. You're, you, there's sometimes you wanna look at the horizon, and sometimes you wanna point it down at yourself in the ground. This lets you do it remotely. Um, at the same time, it records uh, to a micro SD card, which is, well, you can't see it right now because it's hidden behind the, uh, the gimbal motors, but it is there. Uh, internal to this quadcopter, there is a 1200 mill. you know, you have to screw it open and shut. I'm not a fan of the battery door here, but there is a 1200 milli uh, amper hour, uh, 7.4 volt battery. Um, it's actually very similar in size and uh, power to the uh, Tarantula X6 batteries. Unfortunately, it has a different connector on it. The connector it uses is similar to the JJRC HHC. It's that little black connector. It's an odd shaped thing. Um, it does not have a JST connector like the Tarantula X6. So you cannot use the Tarantula X6 battery directly unless you change that connector for it. Um, other than that, um, it is the weight of this thing. Uh, I wrote it down here, hold on a second is 436 grams. I weighed this at home with the battery installed and the camera installed. Uh, since that's over uh, 250 grams, this will require FAA uh, registration. The, the pilot will be required to be registered with the FAA to fly this. Um, but still, uh, for this size of a quadcopter, to keep it under a pound, that's slightly under a pound, that, that's an achievement in itself. Uh, just last week I was flying a similarly sized quadcopter that was one and a third pound, and when its motors failed, it came down like a rock out here. Uh, with that in mind, uh, this one's much lighter than that. You know, it's only less than a pound, but uh, this time I've learned my lesson. Uh, these big quadcopters, especially their first flight, I am always going to fly with the prop guards on, hopefully to reduce that terminal velocity in case I do lose contact with the transmitter and it starts to drop. This one does, by the way, uh, drop about one and a half, two seconds after losing uh, uh, re reception from the transmitter. I already tried that at home and it does that. Um, one other thing I wanted to point out to this quadcopter, something I really like and I had not seen before, it has heat sinks for the motors in there. Now the motors appear to be the Tarantula X6 motors. I don't know if they're plug-in or not. I haven't popped open the case to, to see if they're plug-in replacement, but they, but the look of them from the outside here appear to be uh, Tarantula X6 motors or V262 motors if you prefer. But there is a big difference. Again, I mentioned, I, can you see that blue in there? Here, get the sun glinting off of it. That's a heat sink to keep the motor cool. That in itself is a huge advancement. You know, JGRC every once in a while comes out with new technology advances. Well, this is not really a technology advancement. It's just it's 
novel to be put on a toy grade quadcopter. I haven't seen heat sinks on the motors yet. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen that. So bravo JJRC for doing that, especially with this big, big uh, brush motors. Uh, let's go over the transmitter now. The transmitter supposedly has got 300 meters range. That's fantastic. Uh, Especially this, that would make this very a very good uh, aerial video platform if that is true. We're going to try that out here. I'm going to try to at least go out past the pylons there, which is about 150 meters away. Uh, let's go over the buttons that you got on this. Uh, this upper left uh, trigger button here, shoulder button, is for taking photos if you push in that direction, and for taking videos if you push it in this direction. This upper right shoulder button is for changing the rates from a beginner to intermediate to expert by pressing toward the back and for uh, um, doing flips if you press toward the front and then tell it which direction to flip. It'll do flips. Uh, this, these two dials here, which would you would think would be for controlling the gimbal uh, motors, they're not. Uh, they, the, the turning radius of these is inoperative. What they are are just simply push buttons. And this right push button is for headless mode a quick press and one key return if you do a prolonged press it'll do a one key return this left push button is for something that in the manual says fixed high um, I'm guessing that they plan for future implementation of altitude hold on this quadcopter and then I guess that would turn it on and off I'm gonna try pressing the button anyways out here today and see what it does <laughs> in case it does something but it doesn't describe in the manual or in the ads what this button is for or what fixed high is um, these trim buttons down here which would be your uh, yaw trim button and your throttle trim button are actually the controls for the servos on the camera uh, if you want to turn the camera left and right you press this button here these buttons here for left and right and if you want the camera to go up you press there and if you want the camera to go down you go there and these trim buttons are actually trim buttons for pitch and uh, roll so that's the transmitter in a nutshell let's go out for a flight and we'll take this out in the field and go for a flight of the JJRC H26 hope you enjoy this flight before we go out in the field, I want to show you this. Let's show this thing in action. Okay, I'm going to press it to the right, then it turns to the right. I'm going to press it to the left, it turns to the left. And now I want to center it. And if you want it to go up, you press up. And if you want it to go down, you press down. And I'm going to want to point it slightly up since I generally fly with the forward pitch on. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that for now. Let's go out in the field now and see the this thing fly. Okay, I'm turning on the quadcopter. It has an on-off switch. I forgot to mention that. And I'm pointing the quadcopter in the general direction of the uh, pylon off in the distance there. And binding the quadcopter. And let's take it up for a flight and just uh, see how, or before I take off, I actually want to, this will be the first flight of this thing. I am going to try to calibrate the gyros while I'm out here. Let's make sure they're calibrated. I want to see how stable this is in flight first before we uh, do anything. And also, I'm going to start the camera. I'm going to keep the camera on for this entire flight. So let's take a video and confirm. Is there a light that lights up? Yes, I got a light on the bottom here. That indicates I am recording. Okay, let's go for a flight. And obviously, it needs a little bit of back trim. Trimming it, trimming it. Relatively stable. Nice stable quadcopter. Okay, it seems to be stable. Let's take it for a flight. First off, I'm going to take it up. Just so that we can do a uh, pan of the area. Oh, it's a stable flyer. Let's, okay, let's rotate it. Nice general rotation. Panning the area and climbing at the same time. Oh, this might be a wonderful, wonderful camera bird. Especially if that 300 meter range is correct. Okay, giving it a forward pitch.
getting some range on it. And it's predicted range seems to be true. I am out at least 200 meters, folks. <laughs> With altitude and slant range. I better reduce the throttle some. Let's go up to the other end of the field. This is a nice camera bird, folks. Let's try pointing it down at myself. Okay, I'm going to point the camera down. Get a little more throttle here. <laughs> pointing the camera downward. Can you see me down here, folks? I got to point it all the way down. <laughs> and because of that, I don't know what I'm looking at right now. I'm going to point the camera back up here in a second. Pointing the camera back up. And I'm going to bring it down. I want to see if that camera is level. Reducing throttle, forward pitch. I'm going to try a different rate, higher rate. This is intermediate rate. Yes, folks, I like this. Very stable. Wonderful. It's pointed up too high. <laughs> Pointing it level. There we go. Let's go to the other end of the field. Oh my goodness. So smooth. Yeah, like I said, every once in a while JGRC comes out with a home run. They have a lot of strikeouts, but they also have home runs. <laughs> Either or. They don't have anything in between. Oh, the range on this is great. I'm at 150 yards or 150 meters or so. And it climbs very well. This is a serious competitor, folks, to the X8C. Right now, I'll tell you that. X8C's got competition. Um, I'm hoping that camera's... Well, it depends on how well that camera's doing. I don't know if it's got a lot of jello or not. I'm going to try to go over and hover by the uh, pylon here. Without colliding with the pylon. Where am I? <laughs> Please don't collide with the pylon. Look, that pylon's 150 meters, folks. So I can't tell how far I am. I'm getting down close to the ground so I can gauge the distance. Okay, uh, I'm by the pylon. I should have been by the pylon, which is 150 meters away. Yeah, the range is excellent. And the performance of the quad is nice and stable. I'm crabbing with the wind here right now. There's a slight breeze coming across the field. But let's bring it in closer again. <laughs> I like this. This is going to be people's favorite uh, camera quad next to the X8C or, well, like I said, this is going to be a damn good competitor to the X8C. Let me, uh, okay, let's end the video right now. Stop the video. And turning off the video camera, which is pressing this button again. That should be the end of the video. Let me make sure that that recorded. I'm not sure if it is or not because it's still blinking red um, there's no indication whether it's recording or not other than does it show up on my LCD screen let's see here yes that's how you know if you're recording or not you get a little video camera on the screen so I'm turning that off now okay headless mode let's go try that thing out let's go go down the field a bit let's come back to beginner rate too and one key return, well, let's stable it. One key return. No, one key return, it's the headless mode now. One key return, you gotta hold the button down. And no, it seems to have forgotten, forgotten the direction it was pointed when it took off. <laughs> let's see if we can correct that. I don't know why I forgot that direction.
Okay, I just pressed headless mode again. It seems to think that direction is the headless mode bearing that I set, which I take off, which I did not. Let's turn it off and on and see if I can reset that headless mode bearing in the direction of the pylon. Okay. Headless mode. There we go. Now it's remembering it. Right, left, back, forward. Let's go try the one key return again like I wanted to do. Going down the field a bit. Right about there. Pressing one key return. And my throttle, or I'm out of battery. That's the battery juice. <laughs> the one key return started to work there. Okay, that's the flight time you get. Um, that was actually pretty good flight time for the amount of video I was taking up there. Um, the headless mode does seem to forget its direction during the flight. I don't know why. I don't think I started the quadcopter up in a different direction <laughs> when I bound it. But... Um, other than that, I was very pleased with how it was flying, uh, particularly the, uh, let me turn this off so I don't hurt myself. <laughs> there we go. Particularly the range. I was getting excellent range. Um, it was out about 200 meters or so. Um, it probably does have 300 meter range. I didn't take it out that far, but uh, 200 meters, yeah, it seemed to be out there. Um, the headless mode again seemed to have forgot its direction during the flight somehow, um, but I, when I rebound the quadcopter to the transmitter, um, it, it was the headless mode direction was uh, operating properly. Uh, I didn't get a chance to see what fixed high does. <laughs> well, maybe I'll try that the next flight. But I did uh, demonstrate the up down of the uh, gimbal here. I didn't do the right and left because I don't th think that's a good idea. I just if you want to turn right and left, just turn your quadcopter okay <laughs> and uh let's see that's about it folks i hope this uh, flight came out okay and i hope the video came out okay this is quadcopter 101 with a jjrc h26 real neat quadcopter for the beginning or for the end of 2015 and the start of 2016 hope you enjoyed this flight signing out